Hello everyone. So today we are going to look at an example of how to solve for absolute and comparative advantage. Now let's say there are two countries, the US and Canada, and there are just two produ uh, products that they produce, that each country produce, wheat and barley. Now we want to see like what technology is there for US and Canada. So let's say for US, let's say one ton of wheat, where W is wheat, requires, let's say, two hours to produce. And let's say one ton of barley, where B is for barley, requires six hours to produce. Okay? Now let's say for Canada, let's say we have one ton of wheat requires, let's say, five hours to produce, and one ton of barley, where B is for barley, requires 10 hours to produce. Now, we want to know which country has an absolute advantage in the production of wheat and the absolute advantage in the production of barley, and we also want to know which country has a comparative advantage in the production of wheat and barley. So in this case, let's look at the U.S. first. The U.S. requires just two hours to produce one ton of wheat. Now, if we compare it with Canada, to produce one ton of wheat, Canada requires five hours. So the U.S. needs fewer hours to produce the same amount of wheat when compared to Canada. On the other hand, if we look at barley, the U.S. requires the same thing, a fewer number of hours compared to Canada to produce the same ton of barley. So in this case, we can say, well, if we look at wheat, we can say that the U.S. has an absolute advantage in the production of wheat. Canada has an absolute advantage in the production of neither wheat or barley, because the U.S. has an absolute advantage in the production of both. So if we write it, we will write the U.S has an absolute advantage in the production of of both wheat and barley now let's look at now let's go back and let's see all right well what happens for comparative advantage now so first we need to calculate the opportunity cost before we go for comparative advantage. Now let's look at this for the US. If the US needs one t uh, if the US needs 2 hours to produce 1 ton of wheat and 6 hours in order to produce 1 ton of barley. Now let's let's think about what will happen if the US gives up the production of 1 ton of barley. If if that happens then the US frees up 6 hours. So one ton of barley frees up six hours. So it gives me six extra hours of time. Now, with that six hours, how many tons of wheat can I produce? Well, for the US, if each ton of wheat requires two hours, then in six hours I can produce three tons of wheat. So instead of producing one ton of barley, I could produce three tons of wheat in the US. So, or three tons of wheat. If we look at Canada, if I give up one ton of barley in Canada, I free up 10 hours. I'll just write an H here. With that 10 hours, how many tons of wheat can I produce? I can produce, well, one ton of wheat requires five hours, so in 10 hours I can produce two tons of wheat. So in this case, if we go back, if we now write down the opportunity cost, so Canada's opportunity cost is one ton of barley or two ton of wheat. For the US, it is one ton of barley or three tons of 
wheat. Okay, now if we are comparing these, let's now think about instead of wheat, let's consider them to be dollar amounts. So if I'm shopping for barley, it's cheaper for me to get barley from Canada because if we think about instead of wheat in dollar amounts, it costs two dollars to buy one ton of barley in Canada, but it costs three dollars to buy one ton of barley in the U.S. So to so it's cheaper for me to get barley from Canada, or Canada has to give up fewer tons of wheat to get one ton of barley. Opportunity or U.S. has a comparative advantage in the production of wheat. So we can write then Canada has a comparative advantage in barley. U.S. has a comparative advantage in wheat. Okay, and that's how we calculate absolute and comparative advantage.